Years ago, I went to see status quo, the rhythm player Rick Parfitt had a line of telecasters side stage. Each one was capoed up to a different key, so that he could just pick up the relevant guitar, play the same shuffle rhythm the same way, no matter the song. It struck me as cheating at the time, but it made no difference to the audience. Since then I've mellowed and come to see doing things the easy way as a sensible choice, so long as it makes no difference to the end product. Which brings me to the Edelkrone Flex Tilt Head too. It doesn't do anything you can't do with a conventional tripod head, but it does do it more easily. Once it is set to a suitable friction, it does away with knobs, locking nuts, butterfly screws and twisting. Just bend it where you want it and start taking pictures. The Flex Tilt Head has a feel of very highest quality. If a tripod head can be sexy, this one is. It looks sinewy and has that machine from solid metal look, which it should do because it is from solid aluminium. All the adjustments on the head are made via two Allen keys and a pair of these with a magnetic mount is supplied in the box. You can easily adjust the friction of the joints. Edelkrone call it their knob-free constant friction design, hmm, for different weights of camera, including heavy ones like the Panasonic S1. It's that fine ability to adjust the friction that is crucial to the efficacy of the head. It will take a load of up to 5.5 pounds, 2.5 kilos. The S1 with standard zoom seen here coming in at about 1.8 kilos or 4 pounds. For reference, my G9 with Olympus 40 to 150mm f2.8 weighs in at about 1.7 kilos or 3 and 3 quarter pounds. The biggest Micro Four Thirds cameras with heavy lenses present no problems, therefore. The beauty of the flex tilt head is just this. Position the tripod where you want it and do all the other adjustments via the head. You can go forward, back, up, down and rotate through a wide range, accurately, with minimum effort and very quickly. This ease of use encourages you to try different camera positions to the benefit of your pictures. There are obvious limitations and you must keep the centre of gravity of the camera lens within bounds of course. When you mount the head on a tripod, it has a clever little trick so that when tightened fully, it will rotate through 340 degrees without coming unscrewed from the tripod. Because the shape is so convenient, I put this in my bag when I'm going out taking pictures for use as a quick to use and versatile standalone camera mount. I've had the flex tilt head for the best part of a year and it has become my most used tripod head. For pinpoint accuracy, I use a Manfrotto geared head, but it is heavy and clumsy to use. Invaluable for some things though, like aiming heavy long lenses exactly where you want. I've seen cheaper versions of this Z head idea, some of them at a fraction of the price. But the fact is that for such an unconventional device to work satisfactorily, the tension of the pivot points must be finely adjustable and then able to hold that adjustment indefinitely. That's only possible with precision engineering, which never comes cheap. Around $150 or €130, Euros, £130 UK. Were such a device subject to slippage, it would have a couple of outings and then find a home in the nearest cupboard or drawer. When I was a trainee photographer, my chief photographer, a very talented man, told me that the default position for any camera was on a tripod. You should only handhold when a tripod use was impossible. I've always liked to use tripods. But this Edelkrone Flex Tilt 2 makes their use much more fluent and my working life easier. So, thanks for the life lesson, Rick, and thanks for watching.